Much like the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are x86-based platforms that have a lot in common with PC, and with each other. The Zen 2 CPUs and RDNA 2 GPU configuration is very similar to what we expect to see in a number of upper mid-range PC builds in 2020 and early 2021. However, both consoles have secret sauce technologies that Microsoft and Sony have deployed that don't have clear parallels in the PC space. So what are the implications of these secret sauce technologies? How will they impact performance and graphics fidelity? And will they compensate for the differences between the PS5 and the Xbox Series X in terms of raw CPU and GPU horsepower? Until we see actual shipping games on both of these platforms, it will be hard to come to objective conclusions. However, we will be taking a deep dive here to explore the secret sauce tech found on each of these platforms to better understand what's going on and how developers will be able to leverage these unique platform-specific functions. Xbox Series X and the Velocity Architecture – Blurring the Line Between Storage and Memory Historically, most computing platforms have used storage and memory in a tiered hierarchy. CPU cache was the smallest component, but delivered the fastest data access. System memory was an order of magnitude slower than cache, and storage, typically hard drive storage, was an order of magnitude slower than that. Intelligent caching and buffering systems allowed systems to load data in and out of different tiers as and when needed. However, as memory speed and memory capacity increased at a fairly regular rate over the past few years, console storage speeds, at least until now, didn't change much at all. In the 8th generation, the solution was to cache as much as possible on system memory. This led to massive file sizes for games, with titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 hitting 100GB or even more. Caching was critical to performance because storage on 5400 RPM console hard disks was incredibly slow, less than one tenth of 1% 1 of the speed of the PS4's RAM pool. With the Xbox Series X, Microsoft tackled this issue by radically increasing the speed of the backend storage. The Xbox Series X's 2400MB per second SSD is still quite a bit slower than system memory, however it's fast enough that many asset types, from audio recording to texture LODs, can be swapped in and out straight from the SSD without a perceptible performance hit relative to using system memory. With the faster SSD, data transfer operations can take place within the 16.6ms window presented by a single 60Hz frame. But how can developers utilize this without radically rethinking their approach to asset design? Well, this is where Microsoft's Velocity Architecture comes into the picture. Velocity Architecture is an integrated system combining the Xbox Series X's high-speed SSD with sampler feedback streaming and direct storage to allow developers to directly stream up to 100GB of assets off of the SSD. Let's take a quick look at the components that go into the Velocity Architecture. Hardware Decompression as it is, the Xbox Series X's SSD delivers 2400 megabytes per second of bandwidth. This is a tremendous amount relative to the hard disks found in other 8th gen consoles and on par with high-end NVMe solutions in the PC space. However, in order to make the velocity architecture viable, to ensure that data transfers take place within a budget of a few milliseconds, Microsoft took this a step further by adding in a hardware compression slash decompression block. The hardware compression system is specifically tailored to address GPU texture data using the BC Pack system. On the fly compression and decompression means that the Xbox Series X's storage has an effective throughput of around 5.7 gigabytes per second. Direct Storage The new compression block is complemented by Direct Storage, a new API for I.O. which is drastically more efficient than existing I.O. solutions. Direct storage cuts the CPU overhead for data transfer and compression operations by an order of magnitude. When handling data transfer operations at the Xbox Series X's peak I.O. rate, direct storage ensures that CPU overhead is limited to just one-tenth of a single Zen 2 core. If it's taken out of the picture, CPU overhead would increase by a factor of 50. Direct storage ensures that the storage and I.O. magic here doesn't come at the expense of CPU performance. The CPU cycles freed up here could conceivably be used in other aspects of games, like AI, pathfinding, and world building. Sampler Feedback Streaming The last piece of the Velocity Architecture puzzle is SFS, or Sampler Feedback Streaming. Going back to our earlier point about caching on 8th gen consoles, it's important to realize that until date, caching approaches have been relatively naive. A huge amount of redundant data is loaded onto memory just in case it's needed at a given point of time. Sampler feedback streaming allows for far more intelligent caching. 
It allows the Xbox Series X to only load into system memory those portions of textures that will be used at a given point of time. And because the rest of the velocity architecture enables millisecond scale data transfer, texture and other data can be swapped in and out of system memory and the SSD as needed, with no perceivable hit to performance. The PlayStation 5's SSD is far faster, however. Relative to the Xbox Series X, Sony has evidently made some compromises on the GPU and CPU side of things. The PlayStation 5's GPU is, at best, 15% slower than the Xbox Series X. However, considering what we know about clock speed scaling on Navi parts, it is most likely 20-30% to slower. The PlayStation 5 CPU also runs at lower cores. Where the Sony console excels, however, is in terms of its storage setup. The PlayStation 5 has an incredibly fast SSD. Raw throughput is approximately 5.5 GB per second, which is equivalent to the Xbox Series X's effective throughput with hardware compression factored in. Including hardware compression, the PlayStation 5's SSD offers a remarkable 9 GB per second of I.O. throughput. To put this in perspective, this is nearly as fast as a single-channel DDR3 system RAM. The PlayStation 5's SSD solution is nearly as fast as RAM. Looking at what Sony and Mark Cerny have said so far, Sony's SSD appears to offer developers similar advantages to the Xbox Series X's velocity architecture, minimal load times, and the ability to efficiently stream data off of the SSD. There's been a lot of speculation about how this could impact game performance on the PlayStation 5, about whether a much faster SSD could offset CPU and GPU constraints. The answer right now is that it's not clear but that a faster SSD is unlikely to have significant implications when it comes to conventional rendering workloads. Traditional GPU rendering workloads, including processing shader effects, geometry, and post-processing, are not I.O. bound. These operations would run at the same speed whether a game runs off of HDD or superfast SSD. However, there might be scenarios, such as LOD swapping, where faster storage could result in meaningfully better image quality. BC Pack vs. Kraken, which is better? This is the last piece of the I.O. puzzle. Sony's Kraken compression algorithm was well received upon announcement. It's a big part of the reason why the PS5 is able to hit an effective throughput of nearly 10 gigabytes per second. Microsoft, on the other hand, has been a lot less forthcoming about BC Pack, its approach to compression. Reports indicate that BC Pack enables 50% or greater compression of game textures, which is substantially higher than what's possible with Kraken. Again, at this point, there's no way of knowing for sure what the actual performance impact is. It's important to remember, though, that the PlayStation 5 delivers over two times the raw I.O. throughput of Xbox Series X, and even a highly efficient compression algorithm like BC Pack is unlikely to fully compensate for that. Conclusion Both the 9th Gen consoles look remarkably similar to high-end AMD-based PCs. Their storage configurations, however, are a key point of differentiation. We've never seen consoles with storage as fast as what the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are offering. While secret sauce is often used to talk about advantages one console has over another, in this case we'd argue that the secret sauce advantage here is the one both consoles have over PCs. We look forward to seeing how developers utilize radically faster storage in the ninth generation. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.